So this is how social media changed my life and my business. It took me eight years to go from zero to 5,000 followers. And back then I used to work hours or even days sometimes on one post and make it look amazing. But people didn't care so much. So I decided I'm gonna change my whole strategy. I used to think the algorithm hates me and will never get me views. I always looked at those super celebrities that just post photos and get so much reach. What did they know that I didn't know? Why did they make it and I didn't make it? Does the algorithm like them better? Did they hack the algorithm? Did they choose the right music? What are they doing that I'm not doing? Did they buy all those followers? And yes, some of them buy followers, some of them hack stuff instagram have changed and every change there has been some little hack to grow but what i learned is it's much better to focus on humans instead of the algorithm and algorithm is now changing more and more to how humans actually want to interact with videos and what they actually care about so what i learned is the more people spend time on a video the more this will video will be shown to other people this is the algorithm so i start to replace the word algorithm with what people how do i hack people instead of the algorithm how do i make the algorithm like me how do i make people like me how do i make people like my videos all those things i started looking into psychology and that's where a big shift changed and that's where it became much more interesting instead of learning about a program that will change i just learn about humans now and human psychology what do they love what do they need to know to like a business or to like me or to like whatever right and that's a much more interesting conversation to have than how our robots will like you more so my story is like this I worked for eight years. I was a photographer. I was a freelancer. I was always helping other people. And I had this confidence cycles of like, I have too much work. And then, oh no, I don't have enough work. So I'll say yes to everything. And then I got too much work. And then I started saying no. And then I didn't have enough work. This circle of confidence in your business that I think everybody has. I was in it for a really long time. And then AI came into the picture and I was like, it's going to change the whole world. And I was like, maybe photography is going to be dead in a few years. Or maybe like iPhones are going to be so good. And then in combination with AI, is going to be like what is going to happen so i need to really grow really fast i've been doing it for eight years i want to do something else i want to manage i want to make more money i want to have bigger goals i don't want to do the same thing for the rest of my life so i was like okay i need to change something around i need to change my strategy i need to change what i'm doing i need to stop focusing on quick money because with a thousand here, a thousand there, I cannot reach my financial goals and what I want to do in my life. I want to do bigger things. I have bigger potential. And that's where I decided, okay, I need inspiration for that. I need to be around people who are like doing big things. And I don't want to be around clients always calling me, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? And have this anxiety or this FUMO of like, oh, if I don't going to do this, I might miss on potential new client. I want to get out of this rat race. And that's where I decided to book a trip for one month to Thailand, where I can be completely alone, completely focused on what I want to do and focus on myself. And that changed my life. When I got there, I was like, okay, I'm going to make a challenge that is going to really make me focus on myself. Because if I don't make a challenge, then I might just end up being on vacation, which I'm hardworking always. And I always think about how can I develop in life. And I did a challenge that also helped me change my life. Posting every day for 30 days. To help me with it, I hired also a Filipino video editor. I heard about it a year ago and I was like, I don't know how to do it. Scary. What if taxes? Why am I legal to hire someone? What do I need to do with taxes, with government stuff? I'm scared of those things sometimes. So it took me a year to actually figure out how to do it. When I was in Thailand, I was like, I'm going to make it happen. Because if you want to big, become big, you need to hire people. You need other people's help. You cannot be only one brain and one energy. And editing video takes a lot of time. So I found someone through online jobs. I looked at their videos. They have amazing videos where they explain exactly how it works. They give you this confidence and they explain how to work with Filipinos, which is also a new thing for me. And I decided I'm going to do it. Even though I was scared, I hired someone, I paid him and I asked him, hey, can you make me two videos a day? So at least I have something to post each day, even though I don't like something else. And that helped me so much. Now, I had shifted my perspective. I've been learning about social media for years. I've been trying my best. I've been learning about new things, about TikTok, about all those things. And what I learned is I needed to shift my perspective. Instead of posting what I wanted to show, post what other people asked me to show. And I always had people, other photographers, ask me, hey, how did you end up in this festival? How did you end up in this wedding? How do you make money? It's like everyone's dream, right? Or a lot of people's dream. And I was like, always ignoring it. I was like, no, I don't want to share this with you. You'll be a competitor. You'll steal my clients. And then like, what do I gain from it? And then I gain nothing, right? But I think every business has something like this. We can help someone which we don't want to help really. And then I asked myself, okay, well, now I want to do something else. I want to do something new. Who is 
the person I can help the most in the world. Who can I help the most? And that was like, I can help people become a photographer. It can change their life. Instead of them being in a corporate job or in something that they don't like and being dependent on someone else, I can help them become a photographer and work for themselves. That was my biggest gift. I'm free. I can travel the whole world. I can do whatever I want. That's my biggest gift in life, becoming a freelancer. I can help other people do that. And I actually, during the corona, I saw bosses make people wear masks, make people come to work, stay at home, get vaccinated, do a lot of things that maybe they didn't want to do. And it made me feel so well happy for myself that I'm not dependent on anyone. I can just choose if I want to work with a client or not. But also, I wanted to help those people. I was like, this is not fair. So I decided to do that, to speak to them and not to show what I wanted to show them, to show what they were asking for, what they wanted to see. And I also learned on the way that part of my job is not only to tell them what how to do it but to tell them in the right way in the best way to to show it in the best way in the most interesting way in the most educational way in the easiest way to consume so we are in social media we're mindless scrolling we're like we're looking for a break we don't want someone to tell us what to do we don't want to do hard work we just want to look at something and learn from it anyway so i started posting reels every day teaching what helped me all the biggest lessons that i've got answering questions of people who have been asking me how did you get to work there or how did you do that i started sharing about those things and those things got a little bit attention one of the biggest successes i had was a few years ago during corona actually that during the pandemic that i had a photo shoot that was really beautiful it was this famous photo with the flowers and the two brides i made this photo and in on facebook groups of wedding photographers i showed a before and after and this post got a thousand likes that was my biggest first success on social media that other photographers like and I realized back then that, okay, people want to know how I do it. People want to buy the presets. People want to do this themselves as well. They like that. And I was like, this is too good to be true. This is too good to give for free. I'm not going to give it for free. I'm going to I'm gonna sell it. So I made a course about it. But no one bought it because no one knew about me. No one cared about me. I didn't promote it really anywhere. I just wrote in the comments. It was even not really allowed because it was someone else's group. I was like, hey, if you want more, if you want to learn more, if you want to see more here, check it out. And then there was a post that I saw from someone else who changed my life. It was by Alex Ormosi saying, give away your secrets, sell the implementation. And that was something new I never heard before. Now it's like, okay, let's test it out. I gave this course that I made that was private on my website. People had to pay to access it. So no one saw it. Maybe one person saw it. And I was like, giving this course for my video editor and told them, hey, can you make a reel out of it? Can you make a few reels out of it? And I always felt there was something missing. There was like the principle missing. So I just like did a voice memo, just a voice memo of the principle of why this thing. And I sent it to my video editor. I had in mind that my video editor will make a reel showing everything I speak about in the course or a lot of things. And also this small memo that I sent. But he didn't understood it. He did opposite. He just took a memo that I sent, which is like 30 seconds, I think. And he put the whole video in high speed on it. And I got it back at middle and the night. And I was like, this is not what I wanted. This is not good. This means nothing. This is not good. I, I don't want to post this. But the problem is I didn't have anything else better to post. And it was midnight and I was like tired. I wanted to go to sleep. So I was like, let's just post it, whatever. I don't care anymore. And that turned out to be the best post I've ever posted. It got a million views. And this is where everything changed also. I had some growth. I had 20 followers a day and then 50 and then something like that. And then suddenly I posted this and then it was suddenly like 2000 people follow me that day. And it's not only because I posted this, it's also because I posted all the rest. So people were like going into my profile saying, okay, he posted more things that are relevant to me. It's not only one post. I'm going to follow him. If I didn't post other things, maybe it would be a thousand people a day or maybe less. But it's this post that made it viral. And then I had like a super big lesson from it. What I think is perfect is maybe not perfect. Maybe I'm not knowing everything. Maybe maybe this video editor knows a little bit more or maybe he doesn't. Maybe it was just a mistake. But maybe what I think is perfect is not perfect. So this is this beautiful interaction that I was like, wow. This is really interesting. And that gave me a lot of energy to post back. And that's like why I think you're one real way from changing your life. Because this changed my life. This gave me so much energy to post more, to change, do more. I saw it coming. I saw for the first time, okay, this is a big success. I now remember also someone told me like at the beginning, because he followed me for a long time. It was like at the beginning, like, what the fuck are you doing, Sam? What is this? Why are you like, this is so awkward. Why do you show your face? Why do you start speaking? But he, he kept watching every day the stuff and he was like, this is getting better and better. This is getting good. And then at the end, he was like sending me this message. At the beginning, it was like so uncomfortable for him to see me start making reels and was like, what, what are you doing, Sam? And 
little by little it made more and more sense and now he find those videos amazing and he find what I do amazing so it's very it's a really interesting perspective for me I was scared to post for sure I was scared to post I was scared to share stuff online I was scared about those things sharing my voice sharing how I like I have accent I, I how I look is not exactly how I want I want to have more muscles I, I always told myself one day I'll post, I'll start putting myself out there. But it's not really how it works. It works more like people start believing in you and then you work on yourself. They start believing in you, you start working on yourself. It's not like you suddenly work on yourself. Like it is if you have a low in your life and then you start working on yourself and then you can grow really fast. But I was always comfortable in my life. So, so I started putting myself out of my comfort zone, sharing stuff. And then people, I started seeing reactions and then I was like, okay, this is good. And then by slowly you see reactions, you believe more in yourself. People believe more in yourself, you work more harder in yourself. And I think that's the best way to grow. And now I'm at a point where I had a coach um, or I bought someone's course about how to change your habit. I found him completely insane, completely amazing. I loved him. I told the group, I want to do this and this. And everyone is mostly talk. But he saw that I'm actually doing it. I don't think he like... He, he became friendly and really nice to me because I have followers. I think he became friendly and nice to me because he saw that I'm actually doing what I'm saying that I'm doing and I'm actually taking action and it's working. So he loved it. And now I just came back from Bali. I was in Bali and we trained every day together. The first call we had when I was his student, he we needed to have a call. He kept it for two minutes. He was like, what do you want? What do you need? And then he saw my success. He just spoke a little bit. I was interested in him. And then he gave me like an hour of his time. We just spoke like friends. And then I came to Bali and I was like, let's meet, let's go for coffee. And we just spoke, we became friends. And now I trained with him every day. It's like this guy that I didn't have access to that I was like admiring and now I have access to him. Another insane thing is that Jake and Marie, those, I think the Instagram couple influencers, like the biggest in, on Instagram, maybe they have like a million followers or maybe two or maybe more. But I was a huge fan of them as well. I bought their course as well. Then I spoke to them. I sent them a message like, hey, I, it works. Oh, like it's what I bought in their course was not really what I applied in my real life. But I was like still like, hey, I managed to make it. I I don't know. remember exactly what I spoke. And then they, were, they looked at my profile and were like, this is really good, Sam. We actually have a wedding coming up. Maybe you can help us with photos. And they started following me. I guess good good film because this was like the biggest aha moment where I was like, this is working. It's not just followers pouring in, which was overwhelming. I didn't know what it means. It was like, is it really like it's not I'm not seeing money out of it yet. Right. So I was like, is it worth it? Is it worth my work? Like, it's it's weird, it's cool, but is it what I really want? And then I started de seeing them following me and a lot of big photographers following me. And then I was like, wow, this is insane. I've never imagined I could get attention from them or even be at their wedding or something like this. I ended up not being at their wedding because they had too much content creators already. Um, but they follow me, we speak. I might meet them one day, I might not. I have access to them much more now. I understand them, I can help them. I know how to help them. Now this next thing that changed in my life, I know exactly what the pain points are of famous people and I understand them really good and I know how to help them. So now every time I speak to someone who's like a celebrity or something like this, for example, I just met yesterday at, at I went to, to a new gym and I, uh, I met someone who was like top strongest woman in Europe, right? Top 10 strongest woman in Europe, top one in South Africa, something like this. Someone who's really like admired and people look up to. And we just spoke and I was like, I know, like I, st I started speaking about her problems and she was like super drawn to me and she was like, yeah, I, maybe I do need your help. And now I speak like to a lot of like celebrities or big people and they feel like I can help them and they are drawn to me and they want me to help them. So it's really hard for me to say no and I really want to help them because it's like, for example, I was also in Bali. I met someone who makes millions, like super millions from the same thing I do. And I was like, how do you do it? What am I doing wrong? We spoke a little bit and then I was like, yeah, but your Instagram is horrible. You do, don't do this, you don't do this, you can do this better and this better. And it was like, oh, tell me more. I want to know more how to, I can make my Instagram better. And then I ended up helping him. And we ended up like, we are friends now. He's helping me, I'm helping him. And that's like a coach that coaches thousands of people and he get paid a lot of money and I'm, I can just have access to him for free, which is completely insane, to be honest. I think the next step for me is also to help people like Wim Hof, which I think really changes the world in a very positive way. And actually really changes the world, I think. And I can help them. 
I can help him make better reels. I have this power now, which changes everything. And it's like a dream that I never imagined come, coming true if I, if I could work with someone like that. And I'm already working with other people. This coach of mine, this friend, he has like one of, he has the biggest community of traders in the world or the most active one. They are changing the world in some way. And I help them make better social media. How insane is that? So this is how social media changed my life. It's not really the followers, it's more understanding. The followers is social proof that's working and me understanding how it works, why it works and all those things. This is really fascinating. Another way that's changing actually my life is now I know how to speak and communicate marketing things for free in a really good way. How to make the best ads, how to do those things. So now I help my parents, for example, who struggle with their business a lot. Um, I just made a new offer for them and I made a new video for them, which we didn't post yet, but when it will be perfect, I think it will bring so much more clients and so much more work and it will completely change their life. And having this power is insane. They love the video. I already showed it to them. It's not perfect, but they love that they want to share it straight away. And now all my friends are asking me, hey, can you help me make this video? I'm struggling with my business. I'm struggling with this. And I have like unlimited ideas that I want to share with everyone. It's so much fun. So I'm not a photographer anymore. Uh, I've done a wedding last weekend actually. And I felt like, okay, I'm like, there are some things that I don't really want to do anymore. I feel like there's bigger potential. I can do bigger stuff. It changed everything for me and I can help people on a much bigger scale. And I can actually feel like I can change the world now, which is like the biggest desire I had in my life. Like with photography, I didn't feel like I can change something in the world. Like maybe make better photo ads or I don't know. This is like the big next thing for me. And I feel crazy about it. It's like really a dream that came true. So that's how social media changed my life. Let's see how social media will change your life. I'd love to hear your stories.